Latin American art and Hispanic art has had a massive influence on the United States. Um, and it was even influenced by people who did not grow up in the U.S. So one of those people was Fernando Botero. Uh, he was born in Medellin, Colombia on April 19th, 1932. Um, and he, so he was not in America. He actually really focused on kind of combining some of the techniques of um, traditional art, um, like the Italian frescoes, um, in Europe um, with Latin American roots uh, in, in Colombia. Um, so he uh, went to a matador school when he was young um, and then he left that, uh, left the bull, the bull ring um, and had his first exhibit at the age of 16. Um, he made a living for a while by copying famous paintings and selling them to tourists um, and then he really was influenced a lot by, by some of those arts that he was copying. So he was, he was influenced a lot by Francisco de Goya and by Diego Valesquez. Um, and then a more recent influence for him was uh, Diego Rivera. Um, so in the, uh, in the 50s, he moved to Mexico um, and his art really had just like an explosion um, in color when, when he got there. Um, according to, uh, to biography.com, there was a, a huge shift when he got to Mexico. Um, and he started to view things as a little bit more political with his art. Um, so one of the most famous things that he did, uh, as far as politically, was he really focused on um, doing some paintings about the violence in Colombia and the violence that uh, the United States Army had caused uh, in, in Iraq. So in, 19, in 1999, um, he did a painting, um, just did, did multiple paintings, just talking about the the violence the drug cartels were causing um, in in Colombia, uh, and it really connected with a lot of people. It resonated with a lot of people. And then later when they found out that there were uh, issues with um, American forces in Iraq um, and some of the violence they were causing, he did some paintings about that as well. And uh, I think that the reason that um, it's so important sometimes for artists to, um, to really convey these violent themes through their art is that um, they don't have the truth of Jesus. So when they see these issues, they, they feel like they have to do something about it, but they don't know what the solution is. So they decide um, to, through their art, to get people to become more connected emotionally to the issues, hoping that a solution will arise out of that. Um, but I think it's hard because a lot of times um, those people, the people don't see that the solution is the love that Jesus has. Um, so some of the themes that really um, were important um, that, that uh, Botero conveyed um, was he really took some of these traditionalist, traditionalist values from Europe and then merged those with the values in Latin America, and and just with some of the just the um, the style has it, it's very unique, um, and he includes foods and includes um, uh, culture or cultural items that are that that come from Colombia and come from Latin America in general, um, and that had a big effect on on the U.S. especially when he started taking political uh, political ideas uh, against the U.S. Um, it, it had an effect all over the world. Um, Botero really uh, started to move into sculpture um, when he moved to Paris in 1973. He began to experiment with sculpture and won tons of awards. He, he, was, he was globally globally awarded, and uh, people connected. Some people loved his artwork, um, and then some of his critics said that that his artwork lacked depth and lacked meaning. Um, but he, he honestly thought that compared to the rest of contemporary art, his actually had a lot more meaning, uh, being rooted in some of these traditional values, um, that it had more substance. Um, he didn't want to just come up with some new gimmick. Uh, according to theculturetrip.com, he really um, thought that a lot of contemporary art was just about like what's, what's the new gimmick that you can come up with that's going to kind of surprise people with your art. And he wanted something that was going to last, uh, that didn't need a third party to explain it. Um, and so he kind of like went against a lot of what contemporary art in America was, uh, which I think had a big effect. Um, something that was really interesting, though, is that he, um, his art didn't only affect us as far as uh, us viewing his paintings and his sculptures, but it actually affected internet culture as well. So if you've ever seen the why, though, meme, with the, uh, this is a picture, uh, a painting of Pope Leon X. Um, that is actually... Uh, Francisco or um, Fernando Botero's work, um, which is, is very interesting that um, nowadays with our culture, um, things can be affected not just as far as 
um, paintings and sculptures, but there's a whole internet culture now. Um, and his work actually uh, had a significant effect on that. Um, so it's very interesting how American history and art is not one narrative. Um, there are thousands of stories that shape it. Um, and <clears throat> Latin American and Latino, Latino stories make up a large part of that. Um, and they should influence the way that we view um, that, that, that we view our history and our culture. So um, <clears throat> Botero had a massive impact uh, on, on our art. And um, I think it's really important for us to be able to see that um, artists have a huge impact on how we view things. But I think it's also really important that we always come back to um, we should be viewing things through Christ and, and through his work for us.